that was waiting for the deal to go down. And with me today, Ed Zed is an uh, epic recording artist. Uh, how about if you each introduce yourselves? Okay. I'm Cindy Murphy. I'm Mark Lister. I'm Colonel Shuford. I'm Phil Lister. And I'm Randall Griffith, and we are at Dixiana. Uh, okay. Um, Cindy, you just joined with the band, uh, what, in 1986? Yeah. In 1986 was the official year. Uh, do you want me to elaborate more maybe sure, on that? Go ahead. It was really interesting. Um, the guys were getting ready to do the Nashville Now television show, and the girl who was singing in the band at the time could not make the show, and we were friends previously and worked together in the past, and um, they just called me up and wanted to know if I was interested in filling in, and of course, I thought that was just a wonderful <laughs> right. opportunity to get to do that. So um, I went and did the show, and they called me like on a Friday night, and we did the show on Monday. Had one rehearsal time, and it was a great beginning. And then after um, I found out how focused these guys were, and, and uh, they were going to be needing a female vocalist because the other girl decided not to stay uh, in the music business, um, I thought about it. And it was an emotional break from the previous band I was in, which was a band with my dad. But I knew these guys were focused, and we all wanted a career in country music, so it made it easier. And well, here we are today. I remember seeing that show, too. Really? I, yeah, I remember them talking about the fact that you were filling in that night. It was oh, great. Really good. Oh, good. Right. Right. <laughs> okay, um, Phil, you and your brother Mark, I guess, kind of started the group? Well, we, back in 82, we... Uh, wanting to start a group uh, with a female vocalist out front. Um, primarily, Alabama was the only group in country music at that time, and that's kind of hard to believe, but that's the truth. And we did not, obviously did not want to have another Alabama format, mm -hmm. so we wanted to have something different. And uh, there had been Dave and Sugar, which was a guy and two girls vocally, and, but there hadn't been a girl and two guys so we wanted to go in that route and and try to set up that format and that was um, we went through several different girl singers and trying to find uh, the right person that uh, that could do the job and, and it's hard to find um, singers male or female that are willing to sacrifice and work and, and not get paid mm -hmm. and, and pool your money together and go to Nashville and make demos and things and uh, it it's, um, takes an extraordinary person. They have to have uh, a lot of foresight and a lot of uh, overall career uh, mindedness, mm -hmm. if you know what I'm saying. They have to think in the long run as, a, as opposed to the short term of just, I need to get paid tonight. Mm -hmm. And for a lot of years, from 86 until 90, we went to Nashville every year. We would save our money and go to Nashville and do a demo. And eventually we got, uh, we got our deal on Epic that way. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, really before 82, you had thought about this uh, when you were young kids, didn't you? Even have business cards printed up before you even knew how to how play did, the guitar. How did you find out about that? <laughs> we have our ways. Well, we, uh, yeah, Mark and I come from a musical background, and uh, I went to the Grand Ole Opry in '68. Mm -hmm. And when I came back, I said I've got to do that. I said that's something that I want to do. And uh, Mark was very interested in music and interested in the the Beatles and all, and uh, he was playing guitar some and. We decided we'd put together a group, and uh, it just so happened that the cards got printed before the band <laughs> got together. <laughs> yeah, but we, we were looking long term. I mean, that's the way we think down right. the road, you know. <laughs> right, right. Well, um, is there any special kind of music that you really enjoy doing besides, um, like the country? Do you do any other types of music, or we sure have, Trish. It's been really. I guess in the music business, when you're a struggling band or some, a band that's trying to make things happen, mm -hmm. you've got to learn to do a little bit of everything to get the best paying jobs and that'll afford you to 
to build your career in Nashville or to be able to fund it. Right. So we were we would do a lot of variety shows, dance shows. We'd have to do Top 40 or Bluegrass mm -hmm. or just a little in country too. But just had to be a mix up type of uh, styles. Mm -hmm. So it was a good thing we've all come from different backgrounds anyway. Randall was in jazz and 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 some rock stuff, and Colonel was in contemporary Christian gospel. And he had done rock and roll too, and then Mark with the Beatle influence and the country influence, and then Phil country. Me, I've done bluegrass and a little bit of everything else in the studios, and so we just all have brought this eclectic melting pot, I guess you would say, of styles, and with the love of country music, you yeah. know, behind us. So we have tried a little bit of everything. Well, right? it's a great sound. Well, thank you. Thank okay, you something I wanted to ask you: What's it like traveling with four guys? Oh, well, I'll be kind, and it's easy to do. It's easy to do. Um, these fellows are very conscientious of being like my brothers, mm -hmm. and we really have that attitude among ourselves. Um, we get along as good as any people can get along and living under close circumstances. Right. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, you're gonna have your good days and bad days, but in general, we like each other. Mm -hmm. They spoiled just a little. I think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it's, uh, some girls probably have horror stories to tell, but um, they really try to take care of me and, and that makes it very special and easier for me. Yeah, very protective too, I bet. Yeah. yeah. Well, Cindy's not a very demanding person, and we don't want to take advantage of that, you know. I mean, if she, if, if she was more demanding, we might want to buck a little bit, but we, we, try, to, we try to take care of her, yeah, look out do. for her. I know, I appreciate it. <laughs> That's great. It really is. I'll tell you what I'd like you all to do now. Um, we have a portion in our show every week that is called our Hit Country Video. I watch Hit Country Video Contest. And we have our viewers send in postcards and letters, and we draw them out, and they win cassettes or tapes. That's great. And I think as a special treat to you all this week, we're going to have each one of them draw a, a name. We brought the wicker basket with us. All right. Let them yeah. each draw a name out, and they can uh, announce your name, and you'll each get a Dixiana cassette. Hey, okay, Cindy, you go ahead. I'll start out. I'm going to dig deep. Right, Colonel, we need a drum roll. Okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah. it's Diane Griffin in uh, Route Kittrail. 1 from Kittrail, North Carolina. So, Diane, hope you enjoy our cassette. Okay, I'm about back here. All right, drum roll, please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've already worn the tablecloth out. All right, let's see. We got uh, Sherry Rex Roth, uh, Newberry, Pennsylvania, and we would like to thank you. All right. Let me, let me. Dig deep. I'm going to get it. And right here. He's digging hard. Well, I found something else down here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do. Look at the face card. Oh, this, oh, oh, that's great. Yeah, gone with the wind. Um, Susan Peoples in Ralston, Georgia. Route 1, Box 1508. Ralston, Georgia. Susan Peoples. Thank you, Susan. Okay, Pretty who's more. next? All right, let me see. What Get I that out right from in front of your face. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is Richard Epley uh, from York, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. I believe that is. That so, is. congratulations. Hope you enjoy our, our cassette. Let's take one off the top, guys. Do it, Carl. All right, let's see who we got here. Just so it's not none of your family. That's right, that's right. Um, Ann Graham, Dublin, Georgia. Congratulations. You've got the best cassette out there. <laughs> In his opinion, right? That's right, in my opinion. I'm not prejudiced, though. Okay, well, I want to thank you guys all for joining us here thank today. You. And thanks for signing the blazer. Oh, that yeah. Was fun. Oh, that's great. That's great. Someday I hope to be able to show everybody out there our Hit Country video blazer. I know you hear me talk about it. And it's got a lot of signatures. And one of these days, we're going to get it on the show and let you all see it. And uh, Cindy, will you take us back to the show and introduce your latest video? Sure. Here's our latest video. That's what I'm working on tonight. Cindy, we've got to talk. I've, I've said some things. I, I know I was wrong. And I, I didn't mean to hurt you. I, uh, I really miss you. It's, uh, it's been lonely. And I, I've really thought this out. I, uh, I really want you back. Please, Cindy, give me another chance. 
Get a life, Jack. Yeah. 